Hey everyone, welcome back to Elk Relives His Childhood. Uh, today we have Champions of Norath, Realms of EverQuest. Also known as my dad wouldn't pay the internet fees to get me real EverQuest. So this is the best I had. Uh, I actually did not play an MMO, like, really. Mm -hmm. I did a little bit of MapleStory in senior year. Like, when it came to, like, EverQuest or WoW, my first one was uh, DDO. Uh, oh, you know what? I gotta switch slots. I didn't switch them from back when we recorded Final Fantasy 1. Oh. oh. So, that was a while ago. Well, for you guys, it was probably a lot longer. Oh! I need to switch controllers with you. Switch controllers with me. Uh, whoop. Yeah, so, uh, I didn't have the ability to play MMOs. Uh, we didn't have broadband in my house. We had dial-up. Uh, until my junior year, actually. Really? Yeah. Um, I don't know why. I, mean, I have some hints. I'm not going to say I'm on the show. But uh, we we basically just had dial-up for forever. Partially because my dad was uh, a little concerned about money at the time. So we have... Oh yeah, they had internet game on this. Which always made me mad. Because I wanted to play online with people, but I couldn't. We're going to play a two-player game. Um, and that's the weird part. You have to beat adventure... You can play through this game three times. And each time your character comes with you. Really? With everything you've earned. That's awesome. But, and the equipment and monsters get better. Um, this is an adventure game built to be a competitor to Baldur's Gate uh, Dark Alliance, which I also have. Um, yes. And basically the idea behind this is that it's a very basic story. Orcs are attacking the elves. Figure out why. Oh, we have to figure out why. Yeah, well, we also gotta kill the orcs in the process. Okay. Cool. And I guess the big reason is uh, that the orcs and the goblins don't normally get along and now they're buddies. Oh. So it's like something had to really piss them off for this to happen. Yeah, so... Uh, now, fun part with this one compared to Baldur's Gate. Baldur's Gate, you were... Uh, Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance, I should say, because Baldur's Gate Classic, this was not true. Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance, you were stuck with one of three characters. You got to choose nothing about them except their equipment. If you beat the game, you got to play as Dritz to Orden, so you got a fourth character. Champions of Norath, even though it wasn't uh, Forgotten Realms, so I didn't know the setting as well, because I had most of the Forgotten Realms books in middle school and high school that had come out at that point, uh, as well as I played Dungeons and Dragons. So I knew the Baldur's Gate setting very well, but the game itself was kind of eh. EverQuest, I didn't know very well. But the game itself was great, and what it is is that you have ten different characters you're going to pick out of. Uh -huh. uh, so each of us will get to pick one. Okay. And then you get to customize them, which is kind of fun. Now, the thing is is that you'll notice that there's not really ten characters. You have five male characters and their female versions. Yeah. Uh, or five female characters and their male versions. It might be the other way around. Uh, fuck if I know. Maybe it's a mix. Maybe it's kind of like Inside Out. I don't know. Aww. And now if you've seen Inside Out, you're going to be sad, because, uh... Feelings you're, have gonna, feelings. You're, you're going to remember who's your friend who wants to play. Yeah. Alright, so I'm going to pick first. So, here are the classes. You have Barbarian Warrior. Mm -hmm. They're tank. Uh, they get more mana by killing people. They can build any weapon. That's awesome. There's almost no magic with them. We have the Ranger, which I've played a Ranger before. Uh, very good ranged attacks, being a Ranger. Um, however, uh, close quarters ain't that great, and they're not that good with swords. Also, I'm sorry, you're going to notice some uh, fix her armor level armor here. Like, the barbarians aren't too bad. Yeah, that's pretty decent. They're, they're pretty equivalent. I mean, her skirt's a little bit skimpier than his, but they got the same boots. Actually, I think it's probably like the same over part, because if you look, he's got the, the cod piece in oh, the yeah, middle. Oh, you know what it is? Is that she's not wearing the little chainmail pants. She's, she's wearing shorter shorts, it looks like. Yeah. Uh, the elves, though, there's some objectification going on there with this cricket woman. <laughs> uh, she looks like a cricket yourself. We have the high elf cleric, which is uh, really good magic, not a lot of uh, damage dealing magic unless you're fighting undead, but no bladed weapons. Mm. Uh, she came out better than the wood elf. Yeah. But still, she has that huge open spot where her boobs are that she can get stabbed through. And uh, how come he gets pants and she don't? 
She's wearing a dress, it looks like, with some flappies on top. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, we have the wizards, which the wizards, I'm not going to get too oh. angry about them being so skimpy on the lady. Because they're kind of skimpy on the guy. <laughs> she, hey, to be fair, if I had the stomach like that, I'd show it off. No, uh, you're right. <laughs> uh, pure spellcaster, no, no melee ability. Right? No shields, no armor, nothing. I'm here to slash things. Okay, so you're not going to be a wizard then. Nope. Then we have the Shadow Knight, which is the one I played through with the most. They get disease spells, which do debuffs, and pet spells, which summon undead. Ooh. Um, and they have some DOTs, but not a lot of AoEs. They're weaker against disease immune enemies, and spells cost more mana than they would for other spellcasters. Dark Elf actually gets out really well with the armor. She looks protected. Yeah, so here's my question. What class are you thinking so I don't take the same one? I'm either going to do the Dark Elf or the Barbarian Warrior. Okay. Um, um, I did do Cleric before. I do love Dark Elf Warrior. You know what? Go ahead and be the Dark Elf Warrior and I'll be the other. Alright. Maybe a chick, though. Because I'm going to be looking at her the whole time. I'm gonna go with it. No, so look, we get to customize her a little bit. Oh, cool. So I kind of like uh, this one. Pick her hair. Yeah, I'm not too big on the starting bun. Kind of like the pigtails, but that makes her a little too perky goth chick. Oh! <laughs> I'm terrified. You, as you should be. Behold, my amazing PS2 level graphics. I like this hairstyle the best. Yeah. It has a bit of a Khaleesi look to her. You are very right. Except gray. Yeah. I'm going to go with classic white. Oh, and then you get a customizer this way, too. Oh, that's awesome. And you get 20 points. Yes, 20 points to mess around with. So I'm going to bump up her strength a little bit. Give her a little bit more mana, because she's definitely going to need that. Not going to use much range. I'm going to bump it up to 30. And then stamina is important, so I'm going to bump up that to 34, 34, 35, no, bump, intelligence, intelligence, strength, there we go. And I need a good name for her, uh, Khaleesi. No, <laughs> I don't like that, uh, I'm going to call her. Lisa. <laughs> Would do it. Yeah. It's like, mm -hmm. are you the drow, the dark elf Khaleesi? No, I'm just Lisa. I don't even know why I'm here. <laughs> I'm just hanging. Yes, continue to player two. I am player two. I, I think you do both well barbarian. I think so too. Lady barbarian? Or man barbarian, which one? Well, okay, it's up to you. Well, uh, we're doing this for the show, so I don't expect any, like, weird romance plots between our characters. All uh, the romance plots! <laughs> there is no romance in this. No, there is okay, not. Okay, thank God. I was joking. Uh, if we ever do Artelenico, there is. Okay. Yeah, but not not in uh, not in Champions of Norath. Champions of Norath, it is purely, hey, there's a monster. Murder it! Did it. Oh, hey, you, you could look like uh, Ayla the Huntress. Yeah, I like that. You played Skyrim, right? Yes. Oh, okay. you're right. What's yeah. this? What's this here? Turn your head. Oh, it's just a ponytail. Okay. Like, this isn't... Perky goth barbarian. <laughs> this isn't, like, for fighting, though. Look at it. No, but it, it's, it, it does kind of look... Like, I think having ponytails is pretty fighty. Or the bun. I'm gonna go with the bun. Put your hair up, because you mean business. I do. Gonna be blonde. Gonna be a redhead. What are you thinking? Darkness. Darkness, alright. Darkness is all. And then for you, strength... Uh, dexterity and stamina, you could just basically ignore intelligence. Ooh. Like, dexterity you need a little bit, but you're not going to be doing much range. Yeah, I would bump up that stamina to 40. Maybe that strength to 40 while you're at it. Alright. Okay, so I've got three points to throw at deck? Yeah. I'll throw one there. Just because right. I just, don't want... You got one more. Alright, now hit X. You gotta name yourself. I'm gonna go... How do you capitalize? Uh, R1. Which ah. is a, it also says it on the screen. So, you know, you could've, you could've read. I don't read. I'm yeah, kidding, I, I read a lot. Well, we read way too much is probably the problem. Speaking of reading, um, though this might end up bleeding into the next episode. Uh, we, oh, not we, I, oh. went to Universal Orlando you did. on Saturday, uh, Sunday, 
and I went to, uh, and I got the Park Hopper Pass, I got to ride the Hogwarts Express. <gasps> yeah. Oh my god. And they have a little video that plays uh -huh. when you're on the Hogwarts Express. It's on the window. So you can see things as you're going from uh, Hogsmeade to London. Aww. However, there's also a projector on the doors. Uh -huh. So like, Ron and Hermione and Harry walk by, some first years walk by and drop their chocolate frogs and they walk all over the glass. No, oh And depending my god. on which direction you're going, both movies change. <gasps> like, on the way back to Hogsmeade, mm -hmm. the mentors attack the train. Oh yeah, it's fucking awesome. Uh, this is the sort of thing we should be seeing in a Harry Potter episode. So, we will put a note in the Harry Potter episodes. Go watch the Champions of Norath episodes to learn about the amazing Harry Potter stuff I did. Oh my god, um, are you so excited for April 7th? I am, because apparently the ho Hollywood version is going to open. That's closer to us. It's a lot closer to so, us. Though I still say we both need to do Orlando. We, we'll die. That before, is on the list. It's on the list for before we die. Or before but this is like right there. Yeah. Well, Hollywood's fun. Two hours away? Three? Uh, oh, not even. Two and a half. Oh yeah, there you go. And that's with traffic. Uh, no, from where we grew up, it's like three and a half. Yeah. But a like, that's further in the mountains, but from where we're at. Further in the mountains, make it sound like we grew up in like... No, well no, there's mountains around it, it's a valley. It wasn't the Great Valley though, there was like very few, like dinosaurs, lots of sharp teeth, it was terrible. Uh, oh god. I had a lot of fun, though, they had like this Hogwarts roller coaster. Mm -hmm. And I'm too fat to get on it. Oh. It makes sense. It's built for children. What? Okay. My thing is... Uh, yeah, okay, I... no. That park was filled with small children... Really? ...dressed like they were ready to join Gryffindor. Aww. Uh, Gryffindor, of course. Uh. They're all Gryffindors. There was, like, one Slytherin. Not a single damn Ravenclaw in the bunch. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah, by the way, this one's weird the way uh, some of this works oh, up. Oh, pick up. Yeah. Uh, squares pick up, and uh, money you can just walk over. Mm hmm But everything else you have to physically pick up. You'll notice a lot of this when we do Dark Alliance. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Halt, the Fadoc lifts is off limits by the Lathe Corius. Oh, he's going to say it. Did they put a filter on Jennifer Hale? No, they put a filter on the fucker who plays Robin on Teen Titans. Oh my god. Didn't they? They surely did. To make him sound like Jennifer Hale. Okay, alright already. We get it. Get out of my way! I'm trying to pick up a mana vial. Whoa, okay, here's the problem. Go. Pick there up the mana vial. No, I, I did. We're fine. Uh, the problem is, is that you moved too far, and I got stuck. So we can talk to this guy. He's our shopkeep. Um, so we're gonna mess around with this, and you'll notice the inventory screen is a little weird. Uh, in fact, you know, what? I'm gonna go back to sell and look at what I have. Oh, that's a good idea. So I have a worn short sword, a charred sense. short morning star. The other thing you'll notice is it has these dots. Those dots, you can put things that enhance your weapon. Uh -huh. uh, like there's a bug eye that makes a flaming weapon. So tattered patchwork armor. Uh, so seven, three, oh, I've four, got three. Oh, I've coins. Jesus. So let's go to buy and see what he has in here. Four, eight, eleven, fifteen. I can't afford those. Uh, what I would like, even though I doubt it'll come up... Yeah, you see, we can't even afford half the shit he's selling. Yeah. Honestly, the best thing to do with this guy... Buy a, mat, buy a healing tonic or two and get out. Maybe a gate scroll. Because uh, that helps you teleport back to where you're going. We're going to definitely get into a fight before we get out of here. Um... Also, if you hit, I want to say it's select, uh, your character will pop up on the left side of the screen. And no, that's only in the equipment sheet. Never mind. Oh. Um, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to hit start. Nope. Select. There we go. Here's my character. So I... Uh, I want to dual wield. Why can't I dual wield? Oh. You don't have any points. Because I don't have dual wield yet? When do I get dual wield? It's in here somewhere. 
No, it's not in here. I could have sworn there's a way I do a wheel. There is a way to dual wield, and I don't know what it is. Okay. There's your character. No. Oh. Flip her around. Cool. Yeah. Axe. Uh, also, I'm going to throw out something. If you flip to my character, uh, you do this to them for some <gasps> reason. Oh, that's not good. Yeah. Now, you'll notice that her bra is made of chain mail. That Which is also known as not comfortable. Because uh, I'm just throwing this out there. Imagine, like, one of your nipples getting caught between two quarters. Oh, no. <laughs> My nipples are sad. <laughs> Here we go. So we have uh, activated a portal. We can use it to teleport between places. This is a checkpoint. We can use this to save the game. Okay. Now, apparently, we have to kill 38 goblins. We are going to kill 38 goblins next episode. I said we get a fight in before this, but I lied. Whoa. We'll talk to you guys next time.